Deputy Chief Rick Resnick, please keep fire. Uh, yeah, it'll be brief. Um, just to answer some of the questions on uh, annual terminal that was brought up last council meeting, or uh, not the council meeting, but the budget meeting. Um, Okay, um, just a, a quick explanation on percentages of uh, build, um, what we see back. If you see um, self-pay 19%, so self-pay would be uh, patients that are transported, don't have any type of insurance, indigents, um, fixed income, that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll see about 19% back on things that are built. Medicare, 32%. I think that was a direct question, um, what we see back from Medicare. Uh, so that's on a good day, 32% of what's built. Medicaid, a lot less, 18.5. Commercial being Blue Cross Blue Shield, Verizon Health, things like that. Again, those are going to pay fairly well, um, uh, but again, on a sliding scale. For whatever it's coded as, what they call the ICD codes. And then auto insurance, um, 92.65. Uh, those used to pay very well, but as cars are built safer, we're not transporting as many auto accident victims, and so some of that money has decreased as well, which is a good thing. Uh, we certainly want to see people in our car wrecks. So uh, as far as our department is concerned, as far as the city is concerned, um, what we see what we see built out, uh, Medicare and Medicaid, the majority, 60% is that is that being built out and coming back in. Uh, Self-pay at 14.4, and other insurance being self or auto would be 30.3%. And those numbers are significant because. Medicare and Medicaid make up that, that huge portion, that 60%. And that's where that that's where we're going to see that money coming back in. Uh, 2013 year-to-date data. Uh, I know this is kind of busy, but uh, I'll break it down real, real quick and real fast. This number right here totals for that, um, that section. That is write-offs. That's contractual write-off. So if we build Medicare, um, let's say a million dollars, 32% of that is the best we're going to see out of that, the best we're going to see. So we'd see 320000 out of that. Uh, so these are, are going to be your contractual write-offs. Um, down here is what we're actually taking in so far, deposited it in. This is total build out. Uh, you can see we're, we're pretty high on our bad debt. Bad debt is going to be those self-pays, people that can't pay on their medical bills or their ambulance bills. That's where that comes into play. If we look at if we look at it in a fiscal sense from year to year instead of calendar year, we look at it in a fiscal year. Um, this is currently where we stand. These are current accurate numbers. 571, 297 on a fiscal. That's that's where we're at right now. Two more fiscal months to build out being um, of course uh, June May and June, and we'll see that June payment come back in in July. Uh, projections from Iris Medical, our party, our third party billing service, uh, they're putting us at about 700 to 750,000 uh, at the fiscal year end. Okay, uh, if we compare that to 2012, total numbers for 2012, 1.597 million billed out. Um, Again, here's that bad debt, a huge number, 373. And the write-offs, even bigger, 398, for a total write-off of 532. Again, Medicare is the biggest chunk of that. Uh, they're also the biggest part of what we see come in. Okay, uh, if we look at 2011, we're going to see those numbers changing a little bit. Uh, it's called volumes change as things uh, come back in and Medicare and Medicaid law changes and ICD codes 
and the way building happens, um, it's going to affect that. So we see a lot less in that write-off, um, in that contractual write-off. Um, that's our total taken in at 699, and that's our bad debt is right back there at 155. So you can see as the economy remains worse, people just aren't able to pay on their ambulance bills, and uh, that bad debt comes in, comes into play. Our uh, insurance company, or not our insurance company, our insurance billing company, Iris Medical, they're pretty good about staying on people um, and working out deals uh, to get them to pay on their bad debt. Uh, we do send some to collections, um, but we try to keep it in-house. We tend to get, uh, according to Iris Medical, and I'd have to agree with the statement, uh, we get better results keeping it in-house and sending them to hard collections. Hard collections, people just don't care. They're going to let it go on their credit, and uh, that's kind of how things play out. 2010, when Iris Medical took over our billing service, these were numbers that we were seeing. Again, Medicare law, Medicaid law was changed, and our call volume a little bit less. And uh, look at the bad debt write-off. Um, just you can see how the economic economic times have played out. Um, and the contractual write-offs with Medicare and Medicaid, um, just a huge difference. So um, when we say we're at ballparking that $700,000, $800,000 revenue, um, we're on track for that currently. A little bit more about Medicare. Medicare, um, the ICD code 9, we're seeing at 32%. Uh, that number doesn't change, hasn't changed much, even though Medicare laws changed. Where it's going to change, um, interestingly enough, this, uh, this statement here, uh, the patient is responsible for those co-pays of $50 to $100. We don't see that a whole lot. A lot of people on Medicare and Medicaid, they can't really pay those co-pays, um, and we will not go after that. That's just, that's just bad business. So um, that's part of that bad debt write-off, too. Um, Medicare, Medicaid, we are participating participating company, uh, which means that we get the right to build Medicare and Medicaid, but we have to play by their rules. So we can't bill after Medicare and Medicaid. We can't go after them privately for anything that's written off. So that 70% is part of that contractual write-off that, that uh, contracted debt. So we talk, start talking about Obamacare affecting this bottom line. We're looking at $780 billion in Medicare cuts just Medicare. Uh, ICD code changing is going to be the ICD-10 codes now. They've added roughly 650 new codes or 645 new codes, and they'll be paying out individually on each code. So it's no longer going to be the solid 32%. Might be 20% on this code, might be 20% on that code, might be 50% on this code. It's, it's a mess. <coughs> okay, so we look at uh, we look at the baby boomer generation, we look at uh, the aging of the population as people come off uh, commercial insurance onto uh, governmental insurance as they come of age into the Medicare times. Um, it's going to affect what we're seeing, that 32% and that contractual debt is going up and up and up and it's only going to keep going. Um, when we talk about Obamacare taking hold in here with the complexity of the billing, uh, it's only going to complicate matters worse. Um, and then we talk about rate structures and how people are dealing with this. If we keep increasing rates, people aren't going to call ambulances. And that's currently what's happening on a national trend, especially close to home in Utah. The actual amount of ambulance transports have gone down considerably because the price of calling ambulances is just huge in Utah. 